all across Andhra Pradesh, changes are happening. Young and not so young agriculture graduates are making inroads into the farming sector by bringing new knowledge and new methods to the farmer through the agri clinics and agri business center scheme. The scheme has been envisaged by the Union Ministry of Agriculture. Its aim is to train unemployed agriculture graduates and to help them get loans so that they can start new businesses which will supplement the existing extension system. In Andhra Pradesh, five trading institutes are involved in the scheme. These are the Extension Education Institute of the Acharya NG Ranga Agriculture University, EEI. The Centre for Entrepreneurship Development, CED. The Participatory Rural Development Initiatives, PRDIS. The Nagarjuna Agriculture Research and Development Institute, NARDI. And the Confederation of Fisheries and Aquaculture Industry Welfare Organization. All these five institutions put together so far uh, have trained 210 agriculture graduates under the scheme of agribusiness and agri-clinic uh, centers. Now out of these 210, uh, nearly 25% of them have already established their business in the field. Many of these trainees have already set up businesses that are showing signs of success. These agricultural entrepreneurs or agripreneurs as they are called provide professional consulting services and material inputs in a manner that helps the farmer respond effectively to today's highly competitive market. Veera Praveen Reddy and Ganesh, trained at CED, are setting up cut flowers production unit in Hatnura village in Medak district. Pankaj Chaudhary, trained at PRDIS, is a horticulture consultant in Sikandrabad. Krishna Mohan, trained at Nardi, is into vegetable seed production and marketing throughout Andhra Pradesh. Ranga Rao, Vidya Rao and Shilpa, trained at Nardi, are into integrated pest management with latest biotechnology covering Hyderabad, Prakasam and West Godavari districts. The Agri-Clinics and Agri-Business Scheme allows agriculture graduates to become self-employed. In a way, they become job producers rather than job consumers. But how exactly does this transformation occur? How do the parts of the puzzle, the training, the choice of project, the financing, and the facilitation all come together to spell success. Veera Praveen Reddy and Ganesh are setting up their poly house in Praveen's ancestral village, Hatnura, in Medic district. Praveen's grandparents have provided a three acre plot for the purpose. Our project involves growing two varieties of uh, ornamental flowers, gerberas and carnations in a poly house. Our market is mainly in and around Hyderabad. Our total investment is rupees 14 lakhs. Out of this, the Narsapur Bank has sanctioned as rupees 6.5 lakhs under the agri-clinic scheme. Another 4.5 lakhs has been given by the State Horticulture Department as a subsidy, which is mainly given to agri-clinic trainees. The youthful enthusiasm of Praveen and Ganesh was given clarity and direction after the agri-clinic's training. It helped them get into the entrepreneurial mindset. 
Most of the cut flowers in the Hyderabad market are imported from Bangalore and other places. As a result, there is a shortage in supply of fresh flowers. Therefore, supply of fresh quality flowers will be our USP. In the flower market, quality is more important than quantity. Hence, our main strength will be supply of quality flowers and we are confident that we can capture the market with such an attitude. Initially, we want to market our produce through distributors and later we may consider selling directly to local florists. We are also planning to approach some big hotels and corporate offices for direct sale. That perseverance has helped them get a loan to begin their work. The great moral boost came from the nodal officer in times of frustration. For nearly three to four months, we went around several banks seeking a loan. In each case, about 15 to 20 days would be wasted, waiting for the bank's response. At one stage, we nearly lost hope. It was then that we met our nodal officer and told him about our disappointments. He gave us a lot of hope and asked us to approach the SBI. He also personally pleaded our case with them. Even after the submission, the nodal officer spoke to bankers to convince them about our case. Nabat too wrote a recommendation letter to the bank concerned. The loan was sanctioned under the AgriClinic scheme from the Agricultural Development Branch of the State Bank of India in Narsapur in Medak district. They should be able to meet the working capital ex general expenses and able to repay the bank's loan and they could able to maintain their sustenance for their sustenance and so they, they should get surplus, they should give, they should get surplus. Then only they can uh, uh, take care of all these things. That is why we, in this case, we feel that there is a viability of the scheme, so we propose to finance. The technical and financial viability of the project is independently evaluated by a field officer. In Praveen's case, this was done by Mr. Ragotam, who visited an existing polyhouse to get more information on the viability of Praveen's proposed project. Pankaj Chaudhary's story is a little different. Pankaj completed his B.Sc. Agriculture in 1995 and joined a floriculture unit soon after. Prospects were not too bright at the time and he was constantly on the lookout for new opportunities. Actually, I was doing some landscape work and uh, horticulture farms. So there I took some habit of producing the plants also. And uh, with that knowledge and uh, seeing the market demand, I thought I can use my open place which is available at home to start a nursery outlet. So I used to get cuttings and all from there and it started with one labor and in the small place whatever I am having. And later then I bought plants from outside seeing the demand and other things. I got more orders also. I used to get plants from outside and started trading also in plants apart from having producing and then trading and like that depending on the demand and all I started producing more plants and took more bigger um, landscape works and supplying pl plant orders also. His horticulture consultancy and his nursery have kept him going but it was only after joining the agriclinics training that his work has been given a new direction. Yeah, we had come to know so many other options where an agriculture graduate can dwell into and he can make some good business. And apart from that, uh, what are the various schemes existing with the government, central government as well as state government, also we came to know. And manage also is providing us a lot of information with all these policies and uh, I mean interaction with uh, of, uh, banks or uh, officers and all those things. When it is coming as a group through manage and through a 
central government scheme, we get more importance and uh, we get some uh, advantage out of it. Pankaj now concentrates on ornamental plants needed in landscaping and on growing and marketing indoor plants. He is able to respond to a wide range of customer demands. Once you do the work, the party what they see is their dedication and uh, your competitiveness and your uh, even the rates and all, you have to be reasonable. So in that way, I think I am getting works and I am able to sustain. And initially, we have to compromise on profits also. We can't say that right from the day one, we need so much and all that. First, we have to establish ourselves in the market. Then you can command your price. I feel that is the way we have to go. The Agri Clinics and Agri Business Training Program helps the trainees polish the skills and perhaps links them to markets and to sources of finance. Krishna Mohan has been working mainly in chili seed production and marketing since 1996. I joined the Agri Clinics course mainly to improve my business. I wanted more experience in this line and also some financial support. I also wanted more information on latest technology available in my field of activity. I was able to learn several things about marketing, managing my business and maintaining accounts. In his seed shop in the Malakpet area of Hyderabad, Krishna Mohan supervises the final processing and packaging of seeds and interacts with the farmers. Mission 22 is I am achieved with the size interview with an sharp interview. He has achieved success because of his hard work and perseverance. I give the highest priority to supplying quality seed. I also market directly to farmers. I personally inspect all seeds that I procure before actually distributing them for commercial production. I make it a point to supply the seeds to farmers at the right time. Moreover, I make sure that I meet the demand of all the farmers in a particular area. Krishna Mohan has many plans for the future and with bank support he hopes to succeed. I have already applied for a loan under the Agri Clinic scheme. If the loan is sanctioned, I want to purchase some land on the outskirts of Hyderabad, where I want to set up my own processing unit and also venture into paddy seed production. I also want to develop some more varieties of seeds in chilies, tomato, and bendi. All this involves money for purchasing packing material, buying breeder seeds and so on. Success in the case of BP Ranga Rao is a family affair. When he made the decision to become an agripreneur, he'd already had several years of experience in pest control using biotechnology for the farming sector. His wife, Vidya, an agriculture graduate herself, saw the advertisement for the agri-clinics and agri-business training program. The family saw this as an opportunity to learn something new related to their business and as a chance to make new contacts that would help them expand their business further. Even before the Rao family completed the course, an opportunity presented itself to them. ITC, which takes up large-scale tobacco production for export in West Godavari district, was considering ways to make the product free of chemical residue. Uh, Dr. Anjan Das Gupta of ITC also one of the important speakers who came and gave us a lecture about ITC and what are the activities that they are planning. So we were very much impressed and then I had an interaction with Dr. Anjan Gupta personally and we are the only group of people who have joined in that uh, particular batch. 
so he was very much interested and he was he has actually shorted us he has shortlisted our group then he informed another senior person called krishna kumar in itc at bungol uh, and then he has put us to rajamandri people and then we got into touch with them and within a short time there was a good response from them and we got the we had discussed thrash out the details and we got the order rao and his family are assisting itc in demonstrating integrated pest management practices using biotechnology in a tobacco field of 30 hectares in west godavari district right from the sowing side we will be using uh, pungamia cake in the soil to kill the gr grub and uh, other white grub and other thing in the soil at the time of sowing itself then the tobacco seeds are laid the moment the transplant is done we will put the i mean the pheromone traps both to catch uh, heliotis and uh, spodoptera and also simultaneously we will also see that the if the found the we found uh, or the farmers find lot of uh, lures or lot of uh, uh, insects adults are cat, caught in the uh, uh, in the traps then they will be asked to do uh, npv spray if it is applied on the leaves of the tobacco it will be eaten by the larva and then the further development of the larva will not be there so the they will die you know in uh, in, the, in the beginning itself similarly another thing also uh, called is you know azadrect or neem a neem cake is a thing which is very much known that also is mixed uh, if at all uh, used uh, with the pesticide that uh, the that also will develop uh, the, they will not be able to digest the thing and then the larva will die going in as a family meant that they could coordinate the different functions among themselves i look into more more of the finance side my husband looks into the sales side he tries to bring in the work and then then i actually sit with him and i say this is how we have to do in the financing part to bring out that we do a little more successfully and then there is a little more profitability to to us that is how i work it out but more of it my husband does the planning everything he does and we do sit out and talk out everything every small aspect we try to plan it out and we see that it comes out successfully our main aim is only to bring success into the field the rao family's group business is not only beginning to make a mark among farmers but has also satisfied itc's initial expectations they are very well experienced and they are very cooperative and they are doing, really they are doing better service to the farmers also they are interacting with the farmers they are explaining about the ipm practices and uh, in general they are demonstrating as and when they are required and uh, they are visiting the uh, this area also frequently so okay the farmers also coming forward to implement this uh, this type of practices each of these agripreneurs has a different story to tell success in each case will rest on a different factor but together they demonstrate what it takes to get a successful agribusiness off the ground Praveen and Ganesh have decided to go into it with enthusiasm, energy and a positive outlook that combines well with their technical knowledge. Pankaj has the persistence and the systematic approach it takes to keep the business going. Krishna Mohan combines vision and will. The Rao's bring a deep knowledge of the market and the ability to spot and use opportunity when it comes their way i think with two months or one year of association with the institute with manage with hand holding with bank loan with back ended subsidy our association will come to an end but the journey so far as the agri entrepreneur is concerned would continue forever those who don't succeed will drop out but those who succeed would continue to undertake the journey till 60 years and let me tell you one thing there is no retirement age for a successful entrepreneur a successful entrepreneur continues to work till the last breath of life i think it is this hope of sustainability till eternity i think which has made this scheme different than other schemes there are many many more examples like these bhima raju who was trained at ced has set up an agri consultancy for paddy sugarcane and vegetable farmers at kadiam in east godavari district kishore swaruparani vijaya bhaskar reddy 
Murli Krishna and Murthy trained at PRDIS have started a vegetable seed production company at Kompalli near Hyderabad. Jitendra Reddy trained at EEI has set up a dog feed unit at Chinta Reddy Palam in Nellore district. Chetopadhyay trained at PRDIS has set up a poultry center and provides consultancy to poultry farmers in Kutbullapur mandal of Rangareddy district. Madhava Swami and Sudhakar Babu trained at EEI have taken up direct marketing of vegetables through farmers clubs in Jagatyal mandal of Karimnagar district. Vincent Mire Kumar trained at PRDIS supplies inputs for floriculture units in Ranga Reddy and Vishakhapatnam districts. Gangadhar trained at EEI is setting up a cashew processing unit in Durgada village in East Godavari district. Those who have been through the training course have found ways to create new networks of relationships that can enhance their opportunities. We have launched website dedicated to the scheme agriclinics.net. It can reach all the stakeholders. We have also initiated an electronic discussion forum, Indian Agripreneur at yahoogroups.com and anything and everything under agriculture is discussed in this electronic forum and we have received very good response. We have produced cassettes, CDs, we have published books, we have circulated among all the stakeholders involved in this mission. We are also publishing a bi-monthly bulletin, Indian Agripreneur, basically it is a mouthpiece of training organizations, Agripreneur himself, Agripreneur Association of India and the Government of India, SFAC, Manage and NABARD. Agripreneurs Association of India is a professional body formed at national level by the Agripreneurs trained by various training organizations in different states. At a time when farmers require more knowledge and material support than ever before, these new agribusinesses spell promise. While all of them have a way to go before their success becomes visible, the start has been made. There is a problem of labor that we have to take care. If you are successful in that and financial management also. Finances also you have to manage in a proper way. So if you are successful in both these things, and you give good time and your hard work, then I think there is nothing which can stop you. They must think in a positive way and get into the fields and then start working. I have done a lot of work in my younger age, lots of work, so I know what it is. It has to be done and then it will certainly change the face of agriculture scenario in the country.